Going several weeks without ejaculating might seem like a harmless choice. Some men do it out of discipline, others out of lack of desire, or even following advice from videos that promise supposed benefits. But over time, the body starts to react. And believe me, these reactions don't go unnoticed. Behavioral changes, physical discomfort, mood swings, difficulty sleeping or focusing, all of this can show up when a man completely stops his sexual activity, including masturbation. In this video, you'll understand what really happens in the male body when this kind of abstinence goes beyond 30 days. Let's get straight to the point. What changes internally? What could be a warning sign? And how to maintain a healthy balance between desire, health, and well-being. This content is for men who want clear, practical information based on medical experience and how the male body truly works. No speculation, no fluff. Before we continue, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We always e bring serious, straightforward content about male health, vitality, and well-being after 50. And if this video has already helped you better understand your body, hit the like button. It tells us it's worth continuing to produce this type of content. And drop a comment below. Type one if the topic helped you in some way or your zero if you'd like to suggest a different subject. Your participation really matters. Spending time without ejaculating might seem simple, but the body notices the change. And it doesn't just notice, it responds. When a man goes days or even weeks without releasing semen, the ducts where it's normally expelled continue producing fluid as part of the natural function of the reproductive system. But without regular release, that fluid builds up. It's like the body is ready to act, but never gets the release signal. This can create discomfort in the perineal region, a feeling of heaviness, as if something is stuck there. And it's not an exaggeration. This buildup even has a name, prostate congestion. It's not dangerous in most cases, but it can be very uncomfortable. Some men also report slight pressure when sitting or walking for long periods. Others notice mood swings or increased anxiety. That's because the body is full of unreleased energy, and that tension can spill over into restlessness, irritability, or even insomnia. Every body reacts differently, but when ejaculation is stopped for more than 30 days, the body starts sending signals. Understanding those signals is essential for making smarter decisions moving forward. The prostate is a small gland, but it has a major impact on a man's life. It plays a direct role in semen production and needs to stay active. When ejaculation happens regularly, the prostate stays active, clean, and less prone to inflammation. Think of it like a motor. It needs to run from time to time to avoid seizing up. Going long periods without ejaculating can lead to a buildup of seminal fluid in the eye. Prostate ducts. When not emptied, this buildup contributes to what's called prostate congestion, not a disease, but a condition that can bring uncomfortable symptoms. Pressure between the anus and testicles, frequent urges to urinate, or even slight discomfort when urinating are all signs some men report. In addition, studies show that frequent ejaculation may help reduce the risk of future prostate problems, such as benign enlargement or even more serious changes. That's because when semen is released, the body also eliminates substances that might otherwise accumulate over time. It's not about setting strict rules, but understanding that ejaculation, aside from being pleasurable, serves an important physiological function. Respecting this natural need can be a smart way to take care of your health. If this topic resonates with you and reflects something you've been going through, consider taking the next step. In the digital book, Rediscovering Intimacy, Healthy Sexuality, after 60, you'll find practical guidance for handling the changes in your body, reigniting desire, and strengthening your connection with your partner, all naturally, at your pace, with respect for your personal limits and history. It's a resource made for mature men who want to live this stage of life with more pleasure, balance, and confidence. The link to access it is in the first pinned comment. It's worth reading. When a man chooses to go some time without ejaculating, the impact isn't only physical, it's emotional too. For some, the period brings a sense of control, focus, and even mental clarity. But for others, the effect may be the opposite. The buildup of sexual energy can turn into irritability, impatience, and trouble concentrating on simple daily tasks. It's no exaggeration. Some men report that after a few days they start feeling more agitated, with persistent sexual thoughts. This mental tension comes from suppressed energy, like the body wants to release something but isn't allowed to. It's similar to trying to sleep with the radio on full volume. Part of your brain just can't relax. It all depends on how abstinence is approached. When the decision is made calmly and consciously, with purpose, the mind usually handles it well. But when it's forced, 
due to guilt, fear, or external pressure, negative feelings like frustration and anxiety tend to show up. That's why knowing your emotional limits is essential. Mental well-being is directly tied to how a man relates, to his sexuality, whether with or without masturbation or sexual activity. When a man goes several days without ejaculating, the body doesn't just wait around, it finds natural ways to self-regulate. One of those is what we call nocturnal emission, also known as involuntary ejaculation during sleep. This phenomenon is more common than people think and is completely normal. This usually happens during the deepest phases of sleep, especially when there's a peak in dream activity, the uh, so-called vivid dreams. When the body detects a buildup of seminal fluid, it activates this mechanism as a way to avoid overload and maintain balance in the reproductive system. In younger men, this tends to happen more often, but even older men can experience these spontaneous releases, especially during periods of abstinence. And it's important to emphasize, this doesn't depend on conscious will or desire. It's a physiological response that shows the body is functioning properly. For some, these nighttime releases come as a surprise. Others even feel relieved, as the built-up tension finds a natural way out. It's as if the body is saying, relax, I've got this. This process doesn't cause harm, doesn't affect fertility, and contrary to some myths, it doesn't weaken the body. In fact, it's a sign that everything is working as it should. As the days go by without ejaculation, many men report a significant increase in physical and mental energy. They feel more alert, more focused, as if the body is in a heightened state. This is especially common among those who choose abstinence out of curiosity, personal discipline, or a desire for greater control over their impulses. What happens is that the built-up sexual excitement can influence how the brain responds to stimuli. The nervous system becomes more reactive, and testosterone, even if it doesn't rise significantly, becomes more noticeable in the way it acts in the body. This can lead to increased sensitivity to touch, easier arousal, and even more vivid dreams. When channeled properly, this energy can be directed into physical activity, creative projects, or even focused work. On the other hand, when it's not managed, it can turn into restlessness, insomnia, and repetitive thoughts. It's like pressure building up in a steam cooker. Eventually, it has to be released. For some men, this phase is an opportunity to reconnect with their body. For others, it's a challenge to stay balanced. That's why each decision should be accompanied by self-awareness and observation. Many men have sincere questions about how masturbation affects performance in bed or their ability to have children. Some believe that frequent masturbation uses up their sexual power. Others think that going long periods without masturbating increases fertility. But science doesn't back up those ideas. From a sexual performance standpoint, what matters most is a man's overall health, circulation, hormonal balance, stress levels, and even sleep quality. Masturbating, when done in moderation and in a healthy way, doesn't harm erections or reduce desire for a partner. In fact, it can help a man understand his own body better, learn his limits and preferences, and ultimately improve intimacy. When it comes to fertility, the situation is similar. Sperm count and quality are influenced by diet, age, chronic illnesses, and lifestyle habits. Masturbation frequency alone doesn't significantly alter these parameters. In fact, going too long without ejaculating may cause the stored semen to degrade, increasing the number of dead cells. That's why it's important to break down myths and seek reliable information. Healthy sexuality starts with knowledge and respect for your own body. During a period without sex or masturbation, it's natural for the body to accumulate sexual energy, and that energy needs to move, to be transformed, so it doesn't turn into built-up tension. The good news is that there are healthy and effective ways to redirect this impulse without it becoming anxiety, irritation, or physical discomfort. One of the simplest strategies is regular physical activity. Walking, swimming, running, or lifting weights boosts circulation, releases endorphins, and helps reduce tension. The body feels more relaxed and the mind becomes more focused. Another option is deep breathing techniques, which calm the nervous system and reduce mental arousal without suppressing desire. Creative activities like writing, painting, playing an instrument, or learning something new can help redirect that energy into something productive. And for those seeking hormonal balance, habits like getting quality sleep, eating healthy fats, and avoiding excessive alcohol and sugar make a big difference. Each man can find what works best for him. The most important thing is to understand that desire doesn't need to be seen as a problem. It's a powerful force that, when well-managed, can bring more energy, focus, and even 
more pleasure when the intimate moment arrives. We've talked about the physical, emotional, and hormonal impacts that can arise when a man goes long periods without ejaculating, from fluid buildup in the prostate to the body's way of self-regulating through nocturnal emissions. All of this directly affects well-being and quality of life, especially after 50, when the body starts to demand more balance and attention. Now tell me in the comments, have you ever noticed any changes in your mood, sleep, or energy during a longer period of abstinence? Your experience could help other men who are also trying to better understand their own bodies. If this video helped you, give it a like. That helps this content reach more people and shows us it's worth continuing to produce serious, straightforward videos on men's sexual health. And if you want to dive deeper into this topic, there are more videos on the channel covering desire, testosterone, erections, and vitality after 50. Take a look. It might help even more. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next video.